everyone, I'm here today with a tutorial for this look. I wore this on Snapchat a few weeks ago and got a lot of requests to do a tutorial for it, and it's using the Master Palette by Mario. This is by Anastasia. I know that this is sold out on Sephora's website, but you can find it at Macy's, so I will link it down below where you can pick up this palette. It's probably one of my favorite palettes from Anastasia. The colors are beautiful. There's a great um, variety of I don't know, just a lot of warm tones and you have this really gorgeous sage green in here and you do have three matte shades which are these three shades right here. The rest are shimmers to kind of satiny borderline shimmer shadows. But I did this look like I said a few weeks ago and really love the way that it turned out. It's something a little different for me. I never do really dark in the inner corner. I don't really do a whole lot of the like halo eyes where it's dark on the inner corner, dark on the outer corner, and then the inside is like nice and bright. So it's kind of like a spotlight eye or it's called a halo. Um, anyways, it's just a different look for me. So um, I thought it was really fun. You guys requested it. And yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then just stay tuned. All right, we're starting with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I absolutely love this Sigma 3D HD brush to apply my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. It's so amazing. Next, we're gonna go in with this color called Isabel, and this is the perfect transition color. It's a really nice kind of caramely warm brown, and as you'll see, I am just blending this all over the crease and building it up from the outer corner to the inner corner, and just really packing on a ton of color and a little bit of windshield wiper motions, some little mini circles, inner corner, outer corner. Next, going in with Violetta. This is a beautiful warmer brown. I'm starting with the inner corner, just kind of packing it on with a pencil brush and getting it right into that inner corner and just adding a little bit more and a little bit more. It's better to start with less and continue to add as needed. And next I'm going to the outer corner and I'm just kind of dabbing it on there. Helps with um, reducing fallout and also makes the blending a little bit easier. So most of the color is concentrated on the inner and outer corner of the eye and I'm slowly just feathering it and blending it in so it kind of fades. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep the center of your eye nice and blank. You don't wanna put any of that dark color because we're gonna go over it with a gorgeous shimmery color. And I'm just building it, creating a little bit of a bridge from the inner corner to the outer corner, but keeping the center of the lid nice and um, bright, so that makes it a little bit easier. And blending out any harsh lines with a little bit of Isabel. Next, the star of the show, this is Fifth Avenue, and a little bit of Fix Plus, and we're popping this right on the inner part of the lid the center of the lid, not necessarily the inner, but the center of the lid. And the Fix Plus really helps add that metallic sheen to it. I'm just patting it on and then you'll see I'll kind of blend it so it just kind of molds together into this really beautiful eye look. And taking a small little fluffy brush and a little bit of Isabel, I'm just kind of blending the two colors together so that they kind of fade into each other and it's not so harsh. And if you lose any of that bright, vivid, middle color you can just apply a little bit more and at this one doesn't really have this palette doesn't have a brow bone highlight that's matte so i just went into my tarte tarte lip palette to get a little bit of a matte color for the brow bone and blending out any harsh lines for the liner we're just doing a really simple easy peasy lemon squeezy wing <laughs> Uh, I've been hanging out with my five-year-old too much. But just a really simple, easy winged liner. You can do no winged liner if you want because we are going to pop on some lashes. And part of this video went MIA, so you won't see me do my cheeks, but I will have all the products listed down below. So let's just say this is like an eye tutorial. We're gonna curl our lashes. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. We're gonna pop on some lashes. And oh my gosh, aren't they so pretty? Oh, they're gorgeous. I believe these are the Queen Bee. Cocoa lashes, if they're not, I'll link which ones they are down below, but really easy to pop on. And this primer that I'm gonna be using is thebomb.com if you haven't gotten it. You're missing out on life, Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. Holy grail primer. This one fills in fine lines, fills in pores, makes your skin so soft. 
evens out any texture. It's amazing. And Anastasia Stick Foundation, mine I believe is in the shade beige or maybe natural. But I'm just applying this. I didn't like the way it applied with the Beauty Blender, so I go in and start applying it with a brush. So I just find that's a little bit more of a trickier foundation as far as it just doesn't move very good or blend very well with the Beauty Blender. So blending it out with an IT Cosmetics Kabuki flat panel or flat top brush and voila, my face will be fully uh, covered in foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Love this stuff, it's amazing. Blending that out, I'm going to set all of my under eye concealer with the RCMA No Color Powder. That stuff is bomb if you haven't tried it. And all of a sudden my face is done. The products I used will be linked down below and uh, popping on some highlighter there. For my eyes, I just did the same colors, kind of in the same order on my lower lash line. Hope you enjoy. All right, so that is the finished tutorial. I totally forgot to do my lips in the video because uh, I went and did my hair and got dressed and came back. The lip I have on is this one by ColourPop. It's called R&B and it's seriously like the perfect fall color. It does dry a little bit darker than you see in the tube. Um, this is their ultra matte lip. I find that it's just so comfortable on the lips though. It's not overly drying. I feel like their first batch of matte lips were a little bit dry, but as they've come out with more colors, I feel like the formula just keeps getting better and better. If you want to see more tutorials using this palette, then just thumbs up this video because this palette just really inspires me. It's one of my favorite palettes to use right now, and it's probably my most used, most picked up palette um, for the last month or so. So really love this. If you want more tutorials, thumbs this up. If you are new, please subscribe. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!